From Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, this is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm your host, Chris Hansen. We're headed back to the Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida for more of the poker and personalities you've come to expect from Poker Night in America. And although poker is indeed being played, you couldn't be faulted for mistaking it for a game of hungry, hungry hippos. You see, anything that gets thrown in the middle of that table is getting gobbled up just as fast as it gets put in. So the players might be smart to actually count their fingers after a shove. Plus, we'll take some time away from our cash game and take a look at the unpredictable conclusion of the Rock and Roll Poker Open. All of that to come and more, so let's get to it. And using all of the fingers I've got, let's tally up who's making what at the cash game. As you can see, $12,000 made so far at this game from Dan Weinman. The biggest loser is Jean-Robert Ballon, down almost 25 k the blinds at this cash game, 25 and 50, optional $100 straddle, posted by some of the players as well. Some of you just told me I'm so beautiful. It's nice to see my face. Poker Night in America brought to you by 888 Poker, where the world plays online. Uh, I'm going to check it for, I'm gonna check it for you, Matt. I, I saw it's 23 points with six minutes to go in the second. Looks like so Sean Dean right will start us off tonight, to raising with four or five eight. suited. 16 to 7. Brian Hastings. Calls with kings, no re-raise from the button. No, excuse me, Green Bay is up, I'm sorry. Dan will call from the big blind, and it looks like Matt will call from the straddle. And the flop is nine, deuce, eight. Something going on for everyone here. Weinman's up and down draw. Russell flops two pair. Deeb's got the flush draw. And Hastings has an overpair, so everybody here probably liking where they're at. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Is that some kind of bet? <laughs> oh, that, that counts. It's been How 10 many seconds. times? Every time Gavin grunts, it's a hundred dollars. Snorts, excuse me, snorts. <laughs> Sean paid Dan five. Oh, that was a bad bet. Dan is all right. I snapped through him by hundred. He was, he was. I was free rolling after the first seven. What are you at? Like over I'm a thousand. Five, right? No, I'm up five hundred. Well, I mean, you've been paid a thousand, so you're up yeah, five hundred. Yeah, Deeb lets his draw go. Back to Brian. Got like eight k behind. Uh, yeah, looks neither bigger over. than two, so okay. uh, probably in that neighborhood. I <laughs> out. Until Hastings over. calls, and so now to Dan Weinman. I, I have a specific question from one of my fans. <laughs> who for 1125 more is getting a great price. So from your fan. Here to see the turn. One of them. I've, I have four. Four? <laughs> <laughs> but I have a specific question for one of the players at this table. Okay. Well, let's let this pot brew, and then you can... Yeah, we're going to do it after this, after this pot. Dan calls, so wow, over 6K in the pot as we go to the turn. It's a 10. And everyone now with plenty of money getting shipped around in the flop slows down. They check to the river. It's a five. So Matt Russell playing the straddle for $100 has now turned that into a $6,100 winner so far. He's going to try to get some more out of it. 1800 is the bet. And if you're Brian Hastings with Kings, you think there's got to be a set out here or somebody had to make a straight on the turn. Well, maybe my Kings are good. Now, Dan Wyman finds himself in a very tough spot. You have two players on the river who obviously really like their hand. So how happy is he with having top pair? He makes the right call and folds. I got two pair. And so two. nine deuce wins a ninety-seven hundred dollar pot to start us off. Montana banana from so Matt I, Russell. I've got a question, Daniel, yes. uh, from one of my adoring fans. And the question is, why do you throw clubs, quit mid round, and cry constantly? <laughs> <laughs> Can you answer the question? Now, what's what that? And you know what you don't know who this is from? It's just I'm from guessing. one of my fans. I don't think Josh is a fan. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> interesting cast of characters as usual here on Poker Night in America. Coming from all across the country here to Seminole Hard Rock. Gavin, Gavin. Gavin Folds, over to Sean. We're on Matt Affleck in seat one. Have yet to see him play a hand tonight. Alan Richardson, seat two, on the button. Everyone folds to you, you automatically raise, and he's doing it with good cards. King, queen of diamonds, makes it 300. Jean Robert calls, and Dan calls from the straddle. So we have three players going to the flop. Ace, seven, five with a couple of clubs. Dan is first to bet at 650. Back to Allen. With a call. And Jean Robert is going to move all in. He's got the nut flush draw. It's a nice little spot for Jean Robert to pick this pot up. If he can get Weinman to fold, Richardson's also going to fold. But Weinman does not fold. He calls with top pair. Yeah, so right, let's, go, let's go two times. Two All times. right, they're going to run it twice. Here comes the first one. It's a queen. And the second one is a 10, no club. And the turn on the second run is a king, giving Blonde some help, but no king or club on the river. And John Robert, unfortunately, is going to get stacked again. Wow. Now tonight at this table for John Robert Blonde, if it wasn't for bad luck, he wouldn't have any luck at all. It's a $30,000 loss for John Robert at his first ever appearance on Poker Night in America. We hate to see you go, JRB, but we sure liked having you at our table. And don't let all that needling from Gavin get you down. He does that to everybody. I really feel like Chris, Chris Hansen is overrated in this, in this whole operation. Well, Gavin, I'd like to disagree with you, but once again, you've read my soul. You're 100% right. After the break, we're going to switch gears and take a look at the nail-biting conclusion to the Rock and Roll Poker Open worth half a million dollars. So stick around. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Welcome back to Poker Night in America, the Seminole Hard Rock Rock and Roll Poker Open. Also going on while we were filming this week, it's a $3,500 championship that brought pros and amateurs from all over the world to South Florida. I'm doing my own work. 601 total entries and a $2 million prize pool. And here's a look at the chip counts as we started our final six. Alan. The WPT Season 7 Player of the Year, Froz Jaka, went out in sixth place. Shoved it in with Ace King and couldn't find either one of those, and so he was eliminated, but walked away with $91,000 in cash for sixth place. Stephen McCoy, known as Stevie G from Birmingham, Alabama. How do you feel? Good. You think I'm gonna get there or not? You got a hold. <laughs> walked away with $110,000 from Seminole Hard Rock in fifth place. And Jeff Chang goes back to Washington, D.C. in fourth place. That was good enough to bring home $138,000 payday. And that leaves us three-handed for a championship worth almost half a million dollars. From Boca Raton, Florida, this is Chris Bullock. He is the short stack with just over 1.7 million. And second in chips with 6.8 million is Andy Andreevic. And our big stack is Sean Winter entering three-handed play with 9.2 million in chips. And he's first to act in this hand. The next player eliminated will leave Seminole Hard Rock with 170,000. Second place, 270,000. And the champ, $480,000. Uh, almost half million dollar payday. Cool. We've got some action right off the bat here, three handed. 
And Chris Bullock is all in with Queen Nine, and he gets called by Sean Winter's ace queen suited. Things not looking good for Chris. And the flop's three, five, eight. Seven. So a couple more options open up now for Bullock. He's got a gutter ball or a nine. Jack wins then. And the river is a six. And look at that. He makes the gutter ball on the river from out the door to sit back down for Chris Bullock. Sean Winter on the button. with aces and raising to 205,000. Ten seven of clubs. Now at this point, these players have been playing together for quite some time, and that's where you start to wonder if they're picking something up on some of the other players. Andy pairs a seven, but will not bet. They both check. And here's the turn, it's another nine. And Andy's betting 325. And now we're going to see the river as these two players get involved in a huge pot. River's another nine. So a full house for both players. Man, three handed, you got to believe that if you've got a full house, you are rock solid. Andy's betting 575 into the chip leader. Let's see if Sean calls or if he elects to raise. Yeah, he goes with the smart move and raises to 1.625. And Andy calls, and that call is going to cost him a lot of chips as 4.4 million goes from one side of the table to the other. And that hand looks pretty darn good to you if you're Andy Andreevic. But unfortunately, it cost him a lot of chips. Raising on the button with sevens here as we conclude the Rock and Roll Poker Open at Seminole Hard Rock. Almost half a million dollars on the line for first place in this tournament. All in. Cool. Just a couple of hands ago, Bullock had doubled up with a lucky river, and now he's looking to eliminate Andy to go heads up. Flop is ace, jack, six. The tens from Chris Bullock are still ahead. And there's a 10 on the turn, and that means that Andreevic is drawing dead, and he will be eliminated in third place with a $170,000 payday. I know it was this hand that eliminated it, but the one before is the one that did the real damage. When we come back, we'll find out who's walking away with almost half a million dollars in cash, plus more cash game action coming up. Last time you did that, you were bluffing. Crazy. Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Two players are all that's left from the Rock and Roll Poker Open, and there's half a million dollars on the line, and these players are going at it. Chip counts are pretty even as they got started with heads up, but after the first 30 hands, slowly the chips started making their way to the stack of Chris Bolick. I think it's impossible for me to lose another hand. Well, Sean, if you don't start winning them, this tournament will be over. Sean limped in out of the small blind, and Bolick raises with pocket tens. All in. From the big oh. blind, Winter moves all in, and a call from Chris. He used tens to eliminate Andy. Let's see if he can use them to eliminate Sean Winter as well. Here comes the flop. It's queen, six, ten. And that's all but going to do it for Sean Winter. The turn is a three, and that is it. Chris Bolick. 
starts three-handed play as the short stack and walks away as the Seminole Hard Rock Rock and Roll Poker Open champion. I should have called the King Eight. And goes home with almost half a million dollars. And our final six look like this. Bullock started as one of the short stacks, but in the end, he has all the chips. When you're playing no limit, that's the way it goes. He walks away our winner. Now let's get back to the cash game. John Robert Belland leaving our table. And again, all these players in for a 5K minimum buy-in and a 20,000 max buy-in. And they've been playing for quite a while at this table, so a lot of money has changed hands. I've seen him take really the most ridiculous beats. How do you do Ken game? Aldridge, it goes by the nickname yeah, Teach. Raises with six five of hearts. Ellie won all the money? Uh, no, I, everyone else to join the game. Ellie lost, I lost. Matt Affleck folds. He's playing all Alan Richardson right? calls. Yeah. Suited ace. I mean, obviously whenever money's tough, you play a little tighter, a little better. And three-handed, right? Well, no, we, we were actually full for a while. The game Dan got, Weinman. I know you're supposed I to text yeah. twice. I could, he said Calls from his small blind with king queen. But uh, yeah. You know, Some guy came, um, so Brian knows him. Unknown Phil, player. Right? Phil Carson? Yeah. yeah. And, and then Russell, uh, some guy from AC came, call from the big came. Uh, Mortensen played a little bit. Okay. If you're ever looking for a good game. time, find Matt Russell and then find a Spanish 21 table. Take my word for it. Flop is five, king, six with a couple um, of clubs. Four, all the limit games, all the regular <laughs> games, and stud was three, six. I like that. That's oh. good. We went six I'm never three, off 50%. so I get to do 150, right? What happened? Yeah, Green Bay game's crazy. They, had, they scored 37 points in the first half. And they haven't scored A lot of money flying so around the table the here. It's uh, still 37 points. We've got a nut flush say. draw. We've got two points. pair, and we've got top pair with these players. And the nut flush just came home for Alan Richardson. Teach still with a full house draw. He's not totally out of the woods yet. You told me betting the under was the best bet of the week earlier. I, I also said that. <laughs> and it's gonna be good. Well, 37 at half didn't look very good. Really, they're 50, the, the number's 55. The entire world's on the over. It's gonna go over. Really? We just need three touchdowns. And you can still 18 bet. points in second half? Yeah, yeah. You can still bet. And, okay, we, got, and we have 15. Huh? We have 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 21 minutes to play. You I never bet sports, but I have to take that. Dan, who's got You're top hair and no and club. They scored 100. 37 in the first half, and they've still got 21 minutes left. Under. Okay, you got it. That's crazy. I'm telling you, the entire world. <laughs> I, bet. I never bet sports, so I can't help myself. The entire world's on the over. I mean, they're at 37. I mean, if you have the chance to beat Kevin, three touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah. And Teach I mean, Gavin's like, they're going to score three touchdowns. Today. <laughs> so what's one more I mean, they scored 37 <laughs> in the first half. Wyman's drawing the dead as we go to the river. The and that's because it's going to go over. So the river is a three. This game's I'm, never I believe Sean is going to win Richardson has the nuts. Looks at 55 I'm rooting for. You should three touchdowns. Yeah, you said 18 points with those teams. It's not f***ing hard. No. <laughs> Ken Aldridge bets 800, which is tiny compared to the pot size. Chase, why'd you bet so little? I want you to go. Last time you did that, you were bluffing. Don't raise me. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> those, are, those are fighting words. <laughs> You just have the king of clubs. I promise you I'm not bluffing. I promise you have the king of clubs. I promise you I'm better than that. Much better than that. Much better than the king of clubs. Yeah. Wait, you get another guy in. Dan doesn't mind. Keep talking. Dan's getting all, <laughs> he's gathering information. Yeah. Gathering information. <laughs> I'm going to call whatever, so. You sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's Dan going to do? I don't care. <laughs> well, I may care. <laughs> he may have the king of clubs. Hope he does. I hope he doesn't, then it's a bad day. I hope he's got the King Four Club. Ken Aldridge, who is a WSOP bracelet winner, he won that in a six-handed event back in 2009. How much is that? Alan Richardson doesn't have a WSOP bracelet. He's got a nice watch, though, and in this hand, he's got the nuts. Mm. And here's the raise to 2,400. Dan 20. folds. 24. Ken finds himself in the spot that is between a rock and a hard place here. And you thought I had the king of clubs and you're still going to raise me. You told me you had much better than that. I do. I do have better than that. Well, I hope you don't raise me then. I'm not going to raise you. All right. It's good, <laughs> good information to know. <laughs> uh, but it did say if you yes. raise me, I'd call. I did say if you raised me, I'd call. You're safe on that one. 
Jeez. I'm glad I didn't go all Dinner can't get here fast enough. <laughs> I think that's the first ever Gavin snorting prop bet that I've ever heard of. I don't have a king. You have a ten? No, 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 no. That's not. You already told me that oh. earlier. What do you want to know? You got to give me information to above what you told me. You don't have a king. Above what I? You have better than fives and sixes. The answer is probably not going to be yes or no. It's going to be a little more complicated. Oh. Well, how? I haven't, I haven't thought of an answer yet. Mm. That's bull. Well, that Teach has already said he's not going to raise. So <laughs> the decision here is $1,600, whether you want to call so to try bad. to win a 10K a pot or to fold but anyway, uh, and lose the pot. He already said he's not going to raise. I'm going to take him to his word at that. You decline giving me more information. To, and if that's the way you're going to be, I'll just call. Not and there's the call. And in the end, the cards will speak, and Alan Richardson is the one who's scooping the $10,000 pot. Thank you. But I will pay for dinner now, too. So that wraps up day one of cash here at Seminole Hard Rock. And after the break, we'll show you the tallies of the wins and losses. So stick around. Poker Night in America is being brought to you by 888poker.com, where the world plays online. Welcome back to Poker Night in America. Here's your final results from day two. Pretty much you took $30,000 from John Robert Ballon and spread it out over amongst the players. Taking the biggest chunk of that was Dan Weinman. He's a 10K winner. For more from Poker Night in America, log on to PokerNight.com or connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. For everyone here at Poker Night in America, I'm Chris Hansen. Poker Night is brought to you by 888-POKER, where the world plays online. I'm going to call whatever. I told him I was going to call regardless of the raise. I thought I had the best hand at the time. When he raised, then I knew I did. It's hard for me to go back on my word even at the poker table. He didn't quite give me as much information as he said he would, <laughs> but that's OK, too. And he ended up buying dinner for us. <laughs> of course, I paid for it. <laughs>